Hello and welcome to Programming in Scouts Terrain. In this video, we'll help you propose an idea. Ideas are what your program is built on, so it's important that you know how easy it is to share your ideas with your unit council in Scouts Terrain. The proposed idea function is designed to allow any member of the unit share an idea for an adventure, a project or an activity with the unit council. When the unit council puts together your program cycle, this is based on the ideas and the goals of the whole unit. Some of these ideas and goals are generated as you collaborate in patrols to brainstorm what your program cycle should involve, and others will come from what you and other unit members have submitted through the propose idea function at any time. Let's go through how to use the propose idea function in this video today. Firstly, make sure you're logged into Scouts Terrain. If you're not sure how to do this, check out our supporting resources on pr.scouts.com.au slash terrain. Right now, I'm just gonna log in and I'll be taken straight to base camp. If you're involved in more than one unit, make sure you're viewing the right unit by using the profile switcher in the top right. Click the bar up here and confirm your unit by clicking on it. If you need to switch to another unit, click on the listing here and then confirm. It's important to make sure you're in the right unit because when you propose an idea in programming, it'll be sent to the unit council of the unit you're viewing at the time. To navigate to programming in Scouts Terrain, you have to use the navigation bar on the left-hand side. I'll just click programming here. This takes me straight to the main overview page for programming. We'll cover all the functionality of this page in another programming video, but right now we're gonna just talk about the propose activity button. When you have a goal, idea, or activity you'd like to do in Scouts, it's important to share this with the unit council so that they can consider it when they put together the program cycle. To share a goal, idea, or activity with the unit council, you just need to click the Propose Idea button above the calendar. That's over here. This opens up into a new page. It's on this page where you can explain what your idea, goal, or activity is. We'll go through a few examples and then show you what the unit council sees once you've submitted your idea. First thing we see in this page is a bit of an explanation about how ideas are important in our program cycle. The best way to generate ideas is to brainstorm as a patrol, but you can submit an idea to the unit council at any time. The link here is still under development, so stay tuned for what that will help you with. The first question is about what the activity is called. In our example here, We'll think of something that simply explains to the unit council what our idea is about. Let's call it duct tape boat building. Just like we're familiar with in Scats Terrain, you can just type straight into the free text box. The second question is asking for a short description of what the activity involves. I'm going to copy and paste the description that I wrote previously. The next question asks, why this activity? If I don't understand what this question is asking me, I can click the little I button here. I can see that this question is asking about why I'm sharing this activity to the Indian Council and what I want to achieve. I think this activity will help me learn about how to make things float, how to work as a team, design and some construction methods, and it will also be kind of fun. The next question is about who should organize the activity. There are plenty of different ways that you could answer this question. If you're wanting to lead this yourself, then put your own name down. If it's an activity or an idea that needs some specialist direction from an expert, then you might write down the Northern Hills rock climbing team. Or if you know it's your friend's mum or dad, you might write Alex's mum. All of these pieces of information will help the unit council make decisions about the activity. In our case, I want to run this activity myself, so I'll put my name down.
The next question is about the challenge area that I think this activity belongs to. Could be outdoors or creative, but I think we'll spend most of our time designing and building, so I'm gonna put it underneath creative. To attach a file, you can click on the text field here or the little paperclip button, and then select it from your device. Once attached, I can see a file listed down below here, but I don't have anything to attach right now. Below the proposed idea questions, all of the ones we've just answered, I can see a few resources that could help me come up with an idea. These are really good to use when working with a patrol to brainstorm ideas for a program cycle. I'll click send idea to unit council. It's asking me if I'm sure and I'll click OK. I get a little green confirmation button in the top right hand corner. My, de my idea has been sent to the unit council. Let's go through what the unit council sees. As a member of the unit council, when I click on the programming button in the navigation bar, I see three different options on my main programming overview page. I can see upcoming activities. That's what we're looking at right now, the calendar view. I can see proposed activities and concluded activities. Only members of the unit council can see the proposed activities and this is where we're looking at now. This view shows the unit council all of the ideas that have been shared by members of the unit. The idea we've just submitted, duct tape boat building, sits at the top of this list. As the unit council, it's a good idea to review this list regularly to keep a good understanding of what goals your unit and patrols might have. When you meet as a unit council to create your program cycle, you should review this list to see what goals and activity ideas the whole unit has. Above the list of proposed ideas, that's this list here, there's a filter. You can use this filter to change what's being displayed. If I'm thinking of an activity idea about bush or in the outdoors for a challenge area, when I type phrases into the filter, it'll limit them down. So if I type in duct, it'll only show things that have that word in it as you can see, is this activity here. In the list here, I can see the activity name, the challenge area, the date submitted, the suggested lead, the patrol, so that's where the activity came from, and an action. From these actions, I can either view it or plan it. When I view it, it opens up to see the detail and the attachments that was provided by the youth member. You can see everything that the youth member nominated. From this view, I can either go back by clicking the programming button in the top left, or I can click assign organizer, which takes it to the next step for planning the activity. We'll come back to this one later. I also have an option to remove the activity by clicking the remove button. Maybe it's an older idea that's since been planned or it could be an accidental submission. I can also click the plan button here to start planning the activity straight from this list. This is quite useful if I'm sitting with the unit council and there's a whole bunch of activities that we're about to start planning. Just like all similar lists in Scouts Terrain, I can move between pages if there are multiple by using these arrows here. And I can also change how many ideas are displayed by using this drop down button here. What the unit council will do next is to take an idea that's been proposed and turn it into an activity in Scouts Terrain. Thanks for watching. This is the whole process of proposing an idea and what happens to it in Scouts Terrain. Stay tuned for another video, which will be about how to use all of the programming functionalities and create activities in Scouts Terrain. See you next time.